We will all offer the prayer of meditation. Father, the source of all blessings, help us to receive help this dawn. May we be guided to the way of completeness. With our daily bread, may there be great spiritual growth. May we become servants of power through this lacking servant. When you are manifested, may there be no lackings. May we be victorious by being instruments of righteousness. We believe that we will receive blessings of being your children. We are sure that our children will do more well. In Jesus' name, we thank you and bless. Amen. May today be the best day. Almighty God is helping us, but it's me that's not receiving that help. God is helping. But you don't know that it's me that's not receiving and instead you're mistaken to thinking that it's God who's not helping. Who is it that God helps? Let's find Matthew chapter 20. So God today is helping, but it's me who's not receiving. And then we're mistaken into think and saying, God's not helping me. Matthew chapter 20 verse 26 to 28. Yesterday, we we had Sunday service, we received grace. If you're still thinking of that, then you're a fake. If you look behind, it won't work. Philippians chapter 3, verse 1 to 16. If there's anything that is still pricking your conscience from yesterday, then receive forgiveness. But if you're looking at the things behind, then you'll have a if you're driving like that you'll have a car accident so today's a new start so you think oh okay I must be going anew no all the sins you have to repent again and the daily bread that our hidden ma uh, man needs we have to eat again if you don't do this your actions your personality doesn't change nothing works out you're exactly the same so just say you've got bad habits in your hands you have to repent and you have to ask God for help and then you stick up that Bible verse that doesn't mean that your actions have been fixed the actions are still the same so then yesterday what you prayed about you leave that and today you you pray about something new a, 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 a different bad habit and then in one year it's 365 things that you have to to fix so if you say oh yesterday is breathing I didn't need no you have to breathe again and again every day it gets added on top so in it if you have been at this church for one year then you should have 365 things to fix in a year but and so if you've been here for three years then you should have a thousand things and I think this is strange if you don't even have that does that mean you haven't been receiving God's help every day so then you know after all this time you're still holding on to five verses and then all you say is I'm not doing well even if every day you just had one help not you don't have to have a lot just that one that means after three years that's a thousand bad habits you're fixing so then why wouldn't you be able to receive answers and you're why is it that your actions are always the same because you're double mind you know you cannot change your habits you can't fix yourself you may be double-minded you may lie you may deceive but there's no one on this earth that can fix you so there's no one righteous Romans chapter 3 verse 10 God is so good so why is your household not doing well look at your actions you know that person they're holding on to 10 things that's from 10 years ago they're always the same this is that this is why they don't change Jehovah God he's prepared everything why is it that you're not receiving blessings because you haven't fixed those bad things in order to take them let's say there's 
a, a, a big blessing. And yet, if your hand is not big enough to take it, to, to carry it, you know, that means your whole life you're just looking at the blessings, but you can't take them. And then you say, why am I not doing well? Well, you're the one that made yourself not do well. You know, how much do I emphasize about the daily bread, the daily bread? Why is it these fake churches, fake pastors, fake theologians? You know, they, they think that this is enough. It's not. Satisfaction is what God gives. If you say, won't this be enough? You'll go to hell. These pastors, the people who have believed for a long time, they say, well, this should be enough. You'll go to hell. In front of God, there's no such thing. 99% is not enough. Adam and Eve, they were perfect in everything, but it was that one thing that they disobeyed and they were cast out. When you say, won't this be enough? That's all Satan. It's not me who can make me perfect. It's He. 1 Peter chapter 5, verse 10. He Himself will make us co complete. I can't do it. So, there's a daily service at dawn, a daily service in the afternoon. Even if you had one verse a day, in one year it would be 365 verses. So if you don't have that, you've been doing something else. The relationship between me and God is one heart. If you have a double heart, that is the devil. So if you're worrying and you're anxious, you don't have faith because you have a double heart. So if you don't have faith, how can you go to heaven? How will God manifest to you? So just like when you first go to the army, you have to learn how to, you know, march forwards and backwards and so if you keep doing this every dawn, it's God who makes you do well. It's because you scorn this. You know, 10 years ago what I spoke of, when I speak of it now, so, so as if it's so, um, so naturally, I talk about it naturally, so you actually just scorn it. It's because you don't know about the daily bread. You know, when you woke up this dawn, how much did you repent? Not much. You haven't even probably repented of a hundred things and made it yours. How can you do well? So if you want to be... If you want to do as much as Pastor Park did, there's nothing else that you need to do except say, today's the first time you know not when you say oh I believed yesterday you're looking behind you become proud and arrogant how can you do well Luke chapter 9 verse 69 if you look behind then nothing will work but as you're looking behind you don't even know that you're doing it that's why you're not in, your, not in your right mind. If you're driving, how can you drive looking back? You'll have an accident. But that's what you're doing, and yet you don't realize you're doing that. That's what makes you sick. Okay, let's read together. Verse 26 to 28. It is not this way among you, but whoever wishes to become great among you shall be your servant. And whoever, whoever wishes to be first among you shall be your slave, just as the Son of Man did not come to be served, but to serve, and to give his life a ransom for many. Amen. So, on this earth, there's no one here who doesn't have this heart, this heart of wanting to succeed, this heart of wanting to do well. Everyone has this same heart. So, beasts, they go the way of ruin, but men go the way to do well. So there's two ways. Am I a man or am I a beast? Yesterday you may have repented, but this morning already sin has come out. So already you're on the way of being a beast. So if you just live like that, then because you live like a beast, you plant evil. That's why you and your children don't do well. And then when you die, you end up saying, well, won't this be enough for me to go to heaven? 
Luke chapter 18 verse 8 God says it is truly hard to find someone with faith well everyone seems to have believed and everyone seems to have gone to heaven maybe it's God who's you know crazy but Jesus said no be like the time of Jonah Matthew chapter 24 verse 39 to 40 so who is the liar God or me it's me God has no lie so it is difficult to find someone who's going to heaven you know we realize a little bit and we do four step repentance but when we look at ourselves we can see that we're so lacking what about those people who don't even do this they go to church and they die and people say yeah they went to heaven if you have if your parents say build a house in this order just say you build this up to the second floor how can you say that you, you you know you went to heaven so there is not one Bible verse that you can leave out Matthew chapter 5 verse 18 but we keep scorning God's word and we're deceived into thinking that we're not scorning Psalms 107 today is the first time I'm believing in Jesus this is the first time I come to church if you have this heart but instead you say oh, I came here yesterday so you come here and you fall asleep that's someone who's looking behind not ahead you look at people who fall asleep they're like yeah yesterday I was tired yesterday I received a lot of grace that type of person cannot receive blessings that person cannot be released so how can a pastor not know this and just say oh well yes you come to Dawn's Evers you know you're falling asleep but you know you're doing the right thing no I can't do that we, let's do the right thing today I've come for the first time yesterday has nothing to do with me now if there's something wrong coming to me from yesterday um, Ezekiel it says so it's people who don't do well their actions they, they say but I did this yesterday so they're tied to the past no matter how strong a tiger is if you tie it up with a, with chains it can't go forward if you scorn God's word it is like being bound up in chains Psalms 107 verse 10 11 12 there were those who dwelt in darkness and in the shadow of death prisoners in misery and chains because they had rebelled against the words of God and spurned the counsel of the Most High therefore he humbled their heart with labor they stumbled and there was none to help Amen so you think that you haven't scorned God's word but you have deceived yourself so much there is no one as good as God there is no one as almighty as God and there's no one who has prepared all the things we need like God he has prepared without lacking so that we are satisfied that is Genesis chapter 22 verse 14 so he has prepared satisfaction but because we can't make it mine why because I'm saying well I did it yesterday no today is the first time otherwise you're bound in chains even an ele elephant if you bound in chains it can't go anywhere the chains that God bounds you up in binds you up in who can break those chains no one can and yet you scorn the word and you expect to do well so when I look at you I think how much do you have to suffer in order to fix those bad habits so whether it take 10 20 years God is someone who will fix your habits that is the exodus even if it took 40 years he taught obedience and only those who obeyed entered the promised land oh you were there 40 years so I'll let you through no that's not the way you go to heaven you have to be fixed so uh, Deuteronomy chapter 5 verse 15 you have to remember remember the exodus even though I keep saying this if you still can't understand 
then you are asking for suffering. But this year, let's end suffering. Whatever suffering, we can fix, we can end it today. Today, let's have a right relationship with God. So, if you are a slave, wherever you go, if you are a slave, you're popular because no one hates you. Everyone likes you. So, if you are at the lowest place, then God will raise you up to the highest. James chapter 4 verse 10. So, if you try to go up, it won't work. But that's what we keep trying to do. That's the problem. If I try to keep going up, let's say there's someone ahead of you. That means you have to you have to eat that person up or otherwise that person has to die. That's why you curse others and and you eat them up. You do this, you know, secretly, but later when they find out, it's like, what? You cursed me and you, you know, you ate me and, and then and then it ends up, you know, with betrayal and and how could you do this to me so in this world that's the only way you can be promoted but if you lower yourself it's God who raises you up the world doesn't know this amazing mystery all they know is that you have to kill others to get yourself up Joseph what support did he have but because Joseph was a slave he was able to become governor so this word is not someone's back then it's mine now so this word according to your faith it will happen so that is the help at dawn do you think Joseph didn't do dawn service if all of that was written if everything was written about Joseph then it wouldn't fit in the 66 books of the Bible so it's not whether your parents give you something you know it's not whether your parents educate you oh you know I'm too old now in the world you know your chance may be lost but for us 24 hours a day we have a chance we repent and we have a chance so 24 hours a day 365 days a year is my time to succeed in the world they say 30s 40s if you lose that time then you know it's over you know you know you won't be able to do anything so these people who study their whole lives and they can't even get employed So am I truly a slave? Just because you say I'm a sl slave, does that mean you're a slave? No. As much as you repent, you live as a slave. As much as you repent, you serve others. If you're serving someone, how can they be upset with you? Why is it that you like Pastor Park? Because there is no one who will tell you your bad points. Later, you realize that that is what is good even though you don't want to hear it this is the way for me my children to fix our destiny and to go to heaven and that's why we like this that's why I can stand in front of God without shame otherwise if you had to research each single person and, and try to flatter each single person you know if you're a flatterer Proverbs chapter 29 verse 5 you kill that other person but if you repent even though you don't know the Bible verse Bible verse you know so yesterday if you were repenting from yesterday so God first points out what I need to fix then God shows me the you know what what that each saint needs to fix and he teaches me the so that's how I live 
you live. So if you don't have popularity at work, that person doesn't have popularity at home because you have those same actions at home. If you have a leaking bucket at home, then you have a leaking bucket at work. Wherever you go, you have that leaking bucket. So you need to realize what your bad points are. I can't fix them. So at dawn service, you ask God to help you. So if you do, then if all you do is give thanks, which is God's will, then you plant blessings. But if you say, oh, I'm, I'll just keep it all, you know, I'll just try to be patient. It's still there inside. So because you haven't been forgiven by God, that's why you keep getting blocked. You know, I have to be right with God. I have to get rid of the blockage between me and God. So you always have those same actions, which is the bad spouse relationship. If you are serving and a slave, how can you not suit each other? It's because you won't be a slave. You're saying you do it. If you know, if you don't repent enough, you say you have to do it first, and then I'll do it. You end up being like some water demon where you try to, you know, drag other people down. No, God doesn't say that. He says you do it first. It's God who will be responsible for you. It's not the other person that will do it. It's God. So don't sit there wishing, oh, I wish my spouse would change. As long as you're doing it, God will change them. So from today, it's a new start. Let's say together, it's a new start. So you have to fix your bad habits, the leaking bucket to have a new start. So it's not just your spouse relationship. But when you see all of the world is yours, that's someone who is inside of Christ. Colossians 1 Corinthians chapter 3, verse 21 to 23. When you see the whole world is yours, that's when you belong to God. That means that means you belong to Christ, and that means you belong to God. So that person is someone isn't someone else's spouse or children. It's all mine. That person's wealth is mine. But because we don't see it that way, that's why we don't succeed, and we step we go to failure. You know, you you say that person's is theirs. This is mine. That person's family is theirs. You know, this is mine. No, everything you have to see is mine. That is someone who is inside of Christ. So when you look at someone's actions, if you treat something as someone else's, that's outside of Christ. So whether, you know, some sick person comes, If you see that sick person, if you don't see them as, you know, your close family, if you grumble and complain, all you do is sin. You're an enemy of God. If you see that person as part of your body, you know, even if you have a splinter in your finger, you have to get rid of that finger. I mean, rid of that the splinter so everyone has to be me if this isn't genuine you can't receive blessings so how can we fix this well today one thing at dawn after one year you end up fixing 360 things but you don't even show that you're fixing 10 things just because you wash your face for 10 years does that mean today you're not going to you know, you're, you're just not going to bother sh washing today? No. So, after one year, you should have 365. After two years, you should have over 600 verses. So then, after three years, you should have a thousand Bible verses. So if you're not going forward one step a day, that means you've been doing something else. You've just played along the way. So from this year, we'll do well. Oh, I wish I had done this earlier. Don't do that. It's now. 
a start. Let's say together, I am a slave, I will serve. Let's just start with those two first. You know, if this is happening, then there's no fighting at home. Or if you say, oh, even though I, you know, I'm just going to force myself to, to, to be patient, but, but we can't. Let's all pray. Lord, thank you that we can call upon Almighty Father. I cannot live my life. Help, it's when we entrust all things. If we're at peace, it's you that makes everything work out. May we live as a blessed man. What is it that I have to do now? There's nothing to do but repent. And as we repent to meditate and to and to find out the sins that we need to repent of, that's when you will put the Bible verse in our hearts. So even now the law wants to be manifested through me. So may we become instruments of righteousness. If we don't repent and become an instrument of evil, help us to realize that there is only one of two ways. This year, may we only live as instruments of righteousness. Am I a slave? May we be victorious by repentance. We believe that we'll receive all the prepared blessings of Jehovah. In Jesus' name, we thank you and bless. Amen. Let's be victorious by praying.